Oh, he went flying. He took a knee to the chin. Oh, wow. Hello, and welcome to the Nerd Out Shelter, where it's a safe place to nerd out. And today, I'm playing the demo of Fight in Tight Spaces. Now, this is a deck-building, turn-based tactics fighting game. <laughs> oh, man. Where we play as a secret agent taking on some criminal organizations with our fists. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, this game is scheduled to come out on May 25th, 2023. And, oh, yeah. It's rated M. And probably because there's some blood. Because we're fighting in tight spaces. <laughs> but it's stylized blood. So, just pretend it's sweat. Like Mortal Kombat on the Super Nintendo. <laughs> Alright, so it's the first one I've ever played. So, let's press A to start. Oh, alright. Another menu. <laughs> yeah, let's play. Alright, we only have story mode in the demo. It looks like challenge is only in the full game. So, yeah. Let's start a new story game. It looks like this is your first time in fights in tight spaces. Yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> Would you like to play the tutorial? Uh, yeah, I'm definitely going to need to do that. Oh, we're going to select our character. Okay, do we want white hair or do we want black hair? Um, uh, the white hair kind of stands out. Okay, we're going to be that Agent 11. Whoa, okay. <laughs> we're dropping in. Nice to see you back, Agent 11. Yeah, nice to be here. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Wait, why is he in fighting posture? Is that his boss? <laughs> He's going to punch his boss. Report back to me when you've completed your training. Aye, aye, Captain. <laughs> Whoa, okay. Yeah, that's the briefing. We're heading over to basic training. All right, yeah, let's do this. Ho, ho, ho. All right, whoa, oh, fight already? <laughs> oh, it's a boxing ring. Okay, I got it. Fights in tight spaces is a turn-based deck-building fighting game. Yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> Press A to continue. Use the L and R buttons to rotate your view left and right. Try it now. Okay, cool, we can flip around. Use left stick to highlight cards in your hand. Press A to select spinning back fist. Oh, ho, ho, ho. all right. Move the selection cursor to the indicated tile and press A to carry out the action. Oh, we're going to spinning back fist this guy. B to cancel selection or toggle between a card selection and board cursor movement. All right, let's back fist him. Boom. Oh, that was cool. Oh, he took 10 damage. All right. Some cards require momentum to play. You can see this indicated at the top right of the card. If a card cannot be played, its momentum cost will be shown in red. Ah, I gotcha. Okay, so that one's uh, two over here. Yeah, we can't do that one. But these are zero. Your current momentum is shown here. Next to it is the amount of momentum you will start with next turn. All right, so we have one, and we're going to get three. Okay, play focus card to refill momentum. Oh, I wanted to jab him. Okay, <laughs> I guess we got to focus. All right, let's do this. Oh, we're focusing. Oh, nice. Now your momentum is higher. You can play the double jump kick card. Whoa, cool. All right, let's do that. Oh, deals eight damage two times. All right, yeah, that's double. You can see the minimum and maximum range of an attack in the card's data. Oh, it looks like two tiles. Okay, got it. Use a double jump kick card now. All right, let's do it. <laughs> oh, we're going to select him. Yep. Oh, <laughs> nice. That was cool. You're now close enough to the enemy. Oh, we move forward. All right. To use the jab card, use it to dispatch your adversary now. All right, yeah, let's punch him in the face. Jab. Oh, oh, oh there he goes. He's hanging over the ropes. <laughs> Congratulations. You have just won your first fight. Oh, thank you. A fight ends when every opponent has been defeated or, oh, he disappeared, <laughs> or when you have completed all the main objectives. All right, let's finish. Hey, all right, let's go back to the map. Oh, that's cool. All right, that was basic training. Oh, now we hit the enemy recon. All right, we're doing some reconnaissance over here. Fight. <laughs> oh, man. Let's talk about your opponent. During a mission, you will come across a variety of enemies. Yeah, I figured. <laughs> Uh-oh. Well, we're going to have two over here. You will sometimes be given warning where and when new enemies will arrive. Look for this marker. If the tile is blocked at the end of the turn, the enemy will be prevented from arriving until the next turn. Oh, okay. I'll just stand there then. <laughs> All right. We're going to press Y to finish our turn. Uh-oh. Yep. They're going to drop in, aren't they? Yeah, there they go. <laughs> press and hold the X button at any time to see the current health of all the enemies on the board, as well as all the hazards, void tiles, and railings within a level. All right. Let's hold X. Oh, that guy's got a gun. Oh, that's not good. Um, <laughs> wow. We brought a fist to a gunfight. Okay. Um, use front kick on the selected enemy to push him into the range. Oh, okay. That's kind of neat. All right. Yeah. We're going to use front kick over here. Uh, yep. It's it, this guy. Oh, you're going to have to turn around, dude, right? A couple, yeah, there you go. Okay. He spun around. Boom. All right. Kicked him back. Nice. Once an enemy has been activated, they will attack at the end of the turn regardless of the allegiance of their target. Oh, he's going to shoot his buddy in the side of the face. The icon under the enemy indicates they are getting attacked this turn. Yeah, it's not going to be a fist. It's going to be a bullet. <laughs> Pass the cursor over a target to see an individual enemy's stats. An enemy's info panel will also show the order in which they will attack on their turn. 
Oh, he's a thug. A lowly gang member. All right, punch. A short range attack that deals four damage. Uh, okay, but he's not going to last long. <laughs> if you see this icon, yeah, the fist icon, in the enemy's info panel, it means they are currently primed to attack on their turn. All right, let's finish our turn. Oh, wow. That was a big shot to the ear. <laughs> Uh-oh. Okay, now they're moving. Enemies can move during their turn. Yeah, I noticed that. <laughs> Depending on their attack range, they may move towards you, if they're close range, of course, <laughs> or keep their distance from you if they have a range attack. Yeah, this guy's going to try to shoot me in the shoulder. Okay, I see. Enemies will try to stay away from tiles adjacent to a void. Whoa. <laughs> and get out of the way of other enemies. Use jab on the indicated enemy. All right, let's jab this guy. Oh, uh, yeah, there we go. All right here, buddy. Jab him. Oh, we took him out. <laughs> oh, that was cool. Now use front kick to dispatch the last enemy. Oh, buddy, you're in trouble. We're going to front kick you before you can shoot me. Boom. Okay, that was good. <laughs> Knocked him out of the ring. Yeah, off he goes. Hey, fight complete. Awesome. All right, let's go back to the map. Okay, we did a recon. Uh-oh, now we're heading to advanced tactics. Oh. oh, wow. Okay, it's like a gel cell or something over here. Oh, man. Let's take a look at more advanced mechanics. Some cards have an alternate movement amount. Use the option play card to move close to the enemy. Oh, okay. Yep, we're going to move over here. Uh, where should we go? Over this way? Oh, possible attack right here. Oh, I got it. Uh, I'm going to move right there then. There's like a laundry basket in the way or something. <laughs> you can use the environment to your advantage. Cards like Head Smash can be used only when the target is adjacent to a wall or barrier. Oh, yeah, that sounds painful. <laughs> Note that some cards like Head Smash will cause an enemy to face you, so they will attack you if they survive the attack. Look out for this icon on the card. Oh, the little return arrow. Okay, I got it. I guess we're going to try to do that, right? Yeah, we're going to head smash him. All right, let's go. Oh, there we go. Oh, wow. He bit him across the rail. Ouch. Sometimes you'll have to take a hit. Play the block card now. Oh, yeah. Okay, we're blocking it. Any damage done will be taken from your block before your health. All right, hopefully it won't hurt too hard. Whoa, yeah, we blocked it. Okay, minus four. Note that any leftover block is usually lost at the end of your turn. Okay, I got it. Okay, we have one card left. We're going to push him. <laughs> if an opponent is pushed out of the fight space, they are knocked out immediately. Oh, cool. Enemies can be pushed over railings, windows, open doors, or anywhere you see a hazard marker like this one. Note that void spaces won't always be marked as a hazard marker. Oh, I got it. Yeah, off the edge of the map is the void. All right, I guess we're just going to push this guy. <laughs> push him over the railing. Bye-bye. <laughs> yeah, he's gone. Hey, oh, oh, there's more. Okay, great. <laughs> he's got buddies. Every time you make a successful attack, your combo level will increase. Combo is maintained between turns, but any movement you do will reduce your combo level by one for each tile of movement. Okay, we got to be efficient then. <laughs> you need to reposition in order to attack. Note that with very few exceptions, you can only move in a straight line on the board. Okay, we're playing chess now. <laughs> Use step to get closer to the highlighted enemy. All right, we're going to step on up over here and <laughs> do some dancing. Some cards require a specific combo level before they can be played. For example, left spin kick. Oh, okay, it needs a two, and we have a zero right now. Got it. Some cards increase your combo level without the need for an attack. Use Jolt to increase your combo level. All right, we're going to take a big drink of Jolt Cola over here. <laughs> nice. Oh, we're up to two now. Now you can use your left spin kick on the highlighted enemy. Note that besides pushing enemies through a void, you can hurt them by pushing them against an obstacle. Oh, yeah, I figured that out. Okay, we're going to left spin kick this guy. Whoa, <laughs> that was a cool. Oh, he took four damage from the obstacle. Got it. If an enemy is primed to attack you, you can also choose to counter an incoming attack, allowing you to retaliate during the enemy's turn. Oh, oh we play the counter card. Okay, let's go. Oh, we're playing it. All right, let's finish our turn. Oh, countered, baby. Oh, nice. All right, we hit him back. Some cards like grapple. Oh, like I seeing it behind me. <laughs> Some cards like grapple require multiple steps. Select the card first. All right, we're going to grapple over here. Move target to an adjacent tile within the board. No combo gain. Target will turn to face away. Oh, okay, got it. Then select the enemy and finally select the destination. All right, we're going to select the final destination over here. I <laughs> uh, selected him. Oh, and then we're going to put him over here. Yeah, oh, there we go. We spun him around. Nice. As you progress through the game, you will come across cards and enemies with new abilities. If you need a reminder, you can hover over a card to see an example of what each icon means. You can enable and disable help tooltips in the options menu. All right, I'm going to need all the help I can get. <laughs> The first time you encounter a new mechanic, the help screen will pop up to explain it. Oh, well, that's good. <laughs> now, finish the fight using the information you've learned. Okay, they're throwing me in the deep end. All right. Oh, man. Okay, I guess I'm going to jab. Wait, do I want to jab yet? Um, okay. Ooh, rising knee. Deal eight damage and one push. Oh, uh, can I do that? 
Okay, I'm gonna use rising knee against this guy. Hopefully I push him. Yeah, I push him out over the railing. Oh, he went flying. He took a knee to the chin. Oh, wow. Now we have shift. Move to the other side of an adjacent enemy or move two tiles. Okay, I think I need to do that. Uh, oh, he's gonna attack here. I wanna go here. Whoop, okay. Backtrack and we're gonna jab him. Hit him in the back of the head. Oh, all right. Is he gonna spin around? Let's find out. Oh, we got new cards. Yeah, okay. Oh, he spun around. Okay, good. Um, I guess, we're, oh, wow. Uh, do we need to do a jolt? Wait, how much health does he have? He only has two left. Oh, okay, we got him. Uh, we're just gonna rising knee him. Yep, here we go. Boom, <laughs> there he goes. Bye-bye. Hey, fight complete. Awesome. All right, oh, we're back. <laughs> Impressive stuff. You've clearly still got it. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Did you ever have any doubts? <laughs> yeah, just a few. <laughs> The world moves on, Agent 11. New challenges, new threats. I'm just glad you're up to it. Yeah, I'm up to it. <laughs> oh, okay, we finished our training. Oh, we're gonna take on the Death's Head Biker Gang. With a network of clandestine clubhouses throughout Northern Europe and thousands of members, the Death's Head Biker Gang have a built-in infrastructure for drug and weapon trafficking across borders and limited scruples when it comes to arming terrorists the world over. Whoa, okay, that sounds like fun. But that's gonna wait until next time because that does it for this episode of Fights in Tight Spaces. If you like this video, please leave a like. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the next video. And until next time, thank you for visiting the Nerd Out Shelter, where it's a safe place to nerd out!